Hey guys, this is Developer Dude. Welcome to our brand new tutorial series where we will be building a restaurant website from scratch. In this series, we will dive deep into HTML and CSS. And by the end, you will have a front end restaurant website to showcase. Don't forget, you can also get the source code, link is in the description. So without any further ado, let's start this video. Now it's time to style this. So before styling, we have to add our CSS file in our HTML file. Means we have to add CSS file to our HTML file. So in CSS folder, let's create a CSS file right here, style.css, okay? So here we have created our CSS file. Now head. In head element, write style sheet with link. Use link element and you can see here CSS. Click on it. Link element. In this link element, use rail property and write here style sheet. And also give it here the file location. in css folder style.css so we are saying that go to css folder and take style.css file okay now we have interacted our css file with this html file so now we will write code in css file and it will affect on our html page web page like if i say background color to be red let's save it and check this out if our CSS file is working. Okay, so the background color became become red. Remove this and style it. First of all, use asterisk. Asterisk means we are targeting every element of our HTML file. Means whatever element is here in this body tag, we are targeting that. Okay. So in this, write margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, border box, list style, none, text decoration, none, font family, so we are setting a font family Vardana and the maximum width jo hai amare web page ki wo hogi 1500 pixel okay overflow x hidden okay before saving it let me show you our page this is how it is it looking it is looking this is how it looks now you can see here uh, underline and underline now let's save it refresh it you can see the difference the line has been removed since that you can't see but they are happened they have happened now target nav element this is the nav element which covers all of these things like this one day this one day one this one okay this nav element covers all this so position absolute okay display flex let me show you what happens nothing will happen here 
you can see this div is here, this div is here, and this div is here. Display flex works like this. Like first element was like this one, two, and three. But when we use display flex property, element becomes like one, two, and three. This okay. Vertical to horizontal. Now write align item center. Justify content space around. Okay. Width 100% and height 10 VH. Background color need to be transparent. Save it. Refresh. You can see the difference. What is this? It become a mess. What we are doing like we are styling it or we are meshing it. Now target nav element nav one div and in that div anchor tag. So what we are targeting let me show you that we are targeting nav element and in this nav element we are targeting nav one div which has class nav1 and in this div we are targeting all the anchor tags okay so this is the meaning of this line color need to be black okay font size should be 13 pixel and padding right i mean what is this mean padding right Padding right 20 pixel and uh, save it. Now you can see this these anchor tags between them. I space will be created 20 pixel and the color change a uh, color with color will be changed to black. Okay, you can see font size has changed and the space has created between them or color has changed. Now we are targeting nav dot nav one anchor tag, and here we will use hover. It means when we hover over on this text, it will change. So right here, color RGB. 239 122 and 30 save it and you can see when we let me refresh over this you can see the color has color is changing you can see the color is changing let's give it some time to change the color so transition all zero point zero point three seconds so now it will take zero point three seconds to change their color okay refresh to kiai nahi so now you can see it is taking time to change the color okay now let's target nav dot user and that anchor tag color need to be black so what we are targeting this one you can see the color has changed to black now it's time for our logo so target the logo class and image tag width of our logo should be 200 pixel save it refresh and you can see our logo has become small 200 pixels and you can see it is looking something like this okay now we have to settle this style this you can say 
nav element and in this nav element target nav2 div nav2 div this one div in this nav2 div we have these all elements right here display flex line item centers and font size should be 13 pixel save it now you can see what is display flex you can see one two two one and two okay so let's target the search div in nav2 div search div dot करके जिसकी भी क्लास होती है उसको डॉट लगा के टारगेट किया जाता है लाइक इन दिस नेव टू के अंदर सर्च वाले डिव में डिव की क्लास सर्च है तो डॉट सर्च ओके नाउ राइट यर बॉर्डर बॉटम मीन्स जो बॉटम है उसका बॉर्डर जो है सॉलिड होना चाहिए एक पिक्सल का होना चाहिए सिर्फ और 59, 59, 59 ग्रे कलर का होना चाहिए ठीक है पैडिंग जो है मतलब कि स्पेस स्पेस जो है 10 पिक्सल होना चाहिए और मार्जिन राइट शुड भी 20 पिक्सल मतलब कि राइट से जो मार्जिन है वो 20 पिक्सल होना चाहिए मार्जिन शुड भी 20 पिक्सल फ्रॉम राइट यू कैन सी अ बॉटम बॉर्डर ओके सो द बॉटम बॉर्डर ऑफ सर्च डिव इज वन पिक्सल एंड टेन पिक्सल पैडिंग एंड मार्जिन राइट ट्वेंटी पिक्सल ओके नाउ वी आर टारगेटिंग नेव टू टू सर्च एंड इनपुट दैट आई शोड यू वॉट इज इनपुट यू कैन सी यर दिस वन थिंग this is input okay so let's set inputs with 150 pixel outline none koi bhi outline nahi honi chahiye aur background color jo hai iska transparent border kuch bhi nahi hona chahiye like you can see let me share save it so you can see the border border of this input is this one black line this is outline this is border this you can see this is border or when i click on click in it you can see the dark black is outline so when we refresh it everything will be removed because we have removed outline should be none border should be none okay so we have removed all this now you can see it is looking like this okay now something is like here we have space but here we don't have any space so let's do it dot nav2 again dot search इनपुट एंड इनपुट के अंदर नाउ वी आर टारगेटिंग द प्लेस होल्डर वट इज प्लेस होल्डर दिस वन थिंग इज प्लेस होल्डर द सर्च दैट इज रिटर्न सो कलर शुड बी ब्लैक सेव इट रिफ्रेश कलर एस चेंज नाउ टारगेटिंग nav two divs and dot user div okay margin left should be 20 pixel padding bottom should be 10 pixel like we are creating a space around the user div and this property cursor pointer this property means when we will over over this 
so it will become cursor okay So you can see the space here, but there is no space. So we have made a mistake here. Ooh. Padding bottom. We only need 10 pixel. Refresh it. Okay, now it is okay. So we are done with our nav bar. Okay, same as it is. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you would like to see next. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. See you in the next video.